morning. Uh, it's time for me to have another go at learning a bit about birdsong. Now, you've seen the first video, and if you haven't, go back and have a look at it. It's on the Scotland playlist. Uh, I know very little about birdsong, and I'm trying to learn with the help of some of my colleagues at the RSPB. So last time I learned some basics, robin, blackbird, chaffinch, and I've come back out this morning, about 27, uh, see if I can pick up some more of the songs I've been hearing when I've been out and around around the neighbourhood, uh, find out what they are. So let's go. Now, I'm listening to this wee guy up here just now. I've got a sneaking suspicion I know what it is. Because it's very small. But it could also be very far away. And it's really, really lovely. Two things, really, I think, from this morning. One is one that I, I did kind of see it a bit. Got a rough idea what it is. Uh, it was either very small or very far away. But uh, no spoilers, we'll, we'll, I'll send the song away uh, anyway. And that one I would say was a bit like the Chaffinch from the other day, but more fluid, kind of waterfally. Uh, and another thing that was two notes, really. Quite simple, uh, but it did really cut through. So I will get those sent away to look, find out what they are, let you know when we get the answer. I really like um, the description you gave to this one. I really like the, um, the fact that you said it was kind of waterfally. Um, so I always imagine this bird to have kind of been uh, wound up and then someone's let it go and it's just spinning and spinning and spinning. Um, and this is one of our smallest birds and one of our most common birds. Um, and this is the song of the wren. Um, wrens are extremely small but also extremely loud. Um, it's amazing how much song output they can put from such a tiny little body. So this bird has many vocalizations um, and can often throw people. Um, once I had got to grips with most of the woodland birds, um, most of the common woodland birds anyway, um, this was then, refer, I would refer to this as my default, so um, if I didn't quite know what it was, it would usually end up being this species. Now this species is a great tit. They generally sound like they're saying teacher, 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 uh, the two syllables. Um, I personally prefer to refer to them as saying great tit, great tit, great tit. But they've got a whole host of vocalisations. Um, but I can hear, hear in this that this is clearly a great tip. It's, um, it's, not, it's not high pitched enough or short enough to be a cold tip. Um, so yeah, this is a great tip. 